We don't always use the right terminology to describe processes in IT. Some of the terms we use, uh, they help us picture it, but they're not always the most technically correct. For example, when we say, let's go out to the internet, or go browse the internet, or the internet's down, technically, we should really be saying, let's go out and browse the web, or let's go get out onto the World Wide Web. What is the World Wide Web? Well, the World Wide Web is a collection of web pages and web servers on the internet. Keep in mind, the internet is the highway of connections that allow our traffic to get to the destination, right? So it's kind of like a highway or an interstate. Think of the World Wide Web as the collection of pages. In this particular video, I want to cover the HTTP protocol, which is Hypertext Transfer Protocol. HTTP is the protocol that transfers HTML pages over the internet. So it transfers and retrieves them, right? We, we talked about this in a past video where your web browser is just a web client that retrieves web pages from web servers. Let's check it out. Here in my packet tracer topology, I just have two PCs connected to a switch and a server. What's also running is DHCP, that is uh, leasing out IP addresses to these two PCs. So if you don't have this topology, go ahead and pause the video and set it up. Otherwise, just follow along as I take you through this. So let, let's think about this process. I have given this server an IP address. Um, the IP address here, I'm going to go ahead and check. How am I going to check that? I'm going to go into command prompt and do IP config, right? So I know that server has a IP address of 192.168.0.5. So what I'm going to do, and just to highlight this and how this works, is I'm going to go over to the PC. The packet tracer PCs actually do have a, um, they have a web browser in them. So you can see that web browser here. See how it says HTTP? Notice in, in any web browser in the URL at the top, you'll see HTTP colon like forward slash forward slash www dot, right? And that www again is World Wide Web. So I'm going to go in the web browser. When I click on that, it opens up the browser. It shows the URL bar that we're all used to seeing. You know, this is a very simplified uh, web browser. So URL, URL stands for a uniform resource locator, and it's exactly what it says it is. It's a resource locator. I've noticed some people are scared to use this, but really, like with a Google Chrome and in any browser, it's just that URL is actually tied to a default search engine, and you can change that in your browser. So URL, I'm going to type the IP address. Why am I typing the IP address? I know that's not practical in the real world, but just to highlight HTTP and how it works. Um, usually what would be happening here is I would type in the name and DNS would do a resolution. In the next video, I'll show you DNS and how DNS works and how you can set it up in Packet Tracer to learn it. So I'm going to type in the IP address of the web server and we're going to see what happens. So do 192.168.0.5, enter. It returned a web page. In our packet tracer topology here, we have, you know, a request, which is called an HTTP get request went out to find this device, which it found, you know, using the IP address of uh, 0.5 there. The, the server received it, processed it, and then did a response or HTTP response, which in that HTTP package was the HTML code. Look at this. This is really kind of a cool piece of, of packet tracer. As you go into the server and go to the services tab, you'll see that the HTTP service is enabled by default and it already has HTML documents stored on it. Isn't that cool? In the next video, I want to show you what happens in the packet. So follow along. 